Hello? Hey guys, Luke here, and today I'm bringing us a brand new FLS video. So, the Funny Life Stories video, this one today is about my crazy, crazy teacher. And this guy was nuts. This guy was a weirdo. He would not shut up, and he would freak out over the littlest thing. So, for an example, before I, before I get into the main story, um, he went off at me once because he was telling a story, and he said, my brother Luke. And I said, oh, that's my name's Luke, in a nice way, not in a dickish way. And he went off at me, went off at me for about 20 minutes. Um, a girl in a class, you know how you, have all, you always have the really goody two-shoes in the class that always do the work? Um, well, you know, they're going to get the best jobs in the future. So, um, you know, they make me mad, but they're putting in the work, so good to them. But this girl was doing extra work for him, and he screamed at her for pretty much doing what she wasn't told. She, like, it was, it was so confusing. She was doing extra work for him. It was the weirdest thing. This guy was nuts. He was small, and he told us stories about how he took the wrong medication when he was a teenager, so he had mer milks, like, squirting out of his nipples. And I'm not kidding you. That that story is 100% true. He um he talked about his, like, just all this weird crap you, you don't want to hear. There was a book called, uh, well, I'm not going to say the book's name, but we had to read a book for school. At the end of the year, every single class had finished that book, except us. We only got 20 pages in because this is how the book would go. Um, Muhammad was going to play soccer and then he saw, oh, soccer. Speaking of soccer, did I tell you that um, I threw a soccer ball at a kid when I was a teenager and got into a massive fight? Now, I stood my ground, like that kind of thing. He just would go off on random tangents, but... I'm not going to lie, it was actually pretty good because who would want to read a book when you can hear crazy-ass stories from a random-ass weirdo? So it was great hearing stories, but this is where it went too far, and he could have he could have got fired 100% if any of the kids told anyone. So I'm guessing no one told anyone, but we were reading a book about, like, Muslims and that kind of thing, and, you know, over the countries and Pakistan and war and that kind of... Well, I think that's what it is. It's just guns and Muslims and different different religions that kind of thing so what he thought he would do to show us the seriousness of the sitchin the, the sitchin why did i just say sitchin not in the kitchen uh all oh, rhyme uh the situation of of what's going on he he got us on a site and i'm not going to say the site's name because i actually remember it because it sounds like wwe names but i got on this site he got us all going at the same time and oh my fucking god think of Pornhub. But instead of Pornhub videos where it makes you happy and cry through your penis, there's videos that make you want to cry through your eyes because th they're just people getting murdered and shot in the back of the head and hangings. I'm not shitting you. I was in year eight. Year eight is, um, I think year eight's about 15. He fucking showed us this shit. Now, th there's videos of what they would do in a certain country is like a five women in the middle of an oval like, like, think of um, just this huge oval, people in the stands, and they would shoot the chicks in the back of the head because maybe they cheated on their husband or whatever. And it's just the weirdest thing. There was a video of a guy just getting hung in the middle of the street while people were just driving by. I honestly swear to God to you, it was the craziest, weirdest shit. It just The guy was a nutcase. I don't get why he didn't tell. Like, I guarantee if I went back to a different teacher and said, hey, you know, this teacher just showed us this, he would get fired and beaten. He would get beaten to his knees because that guy was in the wrong there, but I don't think anyone said anything, and also no one wanted to get him in trouble. I mean, he wasn't the worst guy in the world. He, he did go on random stories, which, you know, I would rather hear than learn, but a lot of the learning kids wanted to learn, and uh, he you would not get in fight with this guy. This guy would... I remember I got so angry once, because you know in high school, primary school, your primary, your 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 lunches and recess is the most important thing to you. F fuck learning. That's where you want to go. And he kept me in a whole recess once because I had... I think a girl drew a love heart and like said some like nice things to me on my leg. She was writing while we're doing it. And then I wrote on her arm and there's four other people that were with us. He kept us in the entire fucking recess. That's 30 minutes. That's the only thing you look forward to. Like, oh, oh, it just pisses me off. The, the, the guy, oh no, he was a weirdo and he, that site was crazy. So guys, what is the weirdest thing uh, a teacher has ever done in your classroom or showed you or whatever what's the weirdest thing a teacher's done so i'd love to hear you guys comments and as always like someone's comment if you think it's good because then everyone gets to see it. you know if someone has a funny ass story and you get three likes in that comment it's at the top it's at the top of the uh, comment section and everyone wants to read the funny stories so hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you so much i really appreciate it and uh 
Kisses and hugs. Hope you have a good one. See you later.